Question 47. A clerk at a hardware store performed the activities in the list. The activities were push the 300 newton box for 5 meters across the floor using 110 newtons of force, lifted a 490 newton box of tools from the floor to a shelf 1.5 meters high, held a 50 newton clay pot for 4 minutes as a customer uh, did more shopping. Okay, so when I read these, I get reminded of the definition for work in physics. Remember, work in physics means that um, it's only done when a force acts on an object and moves it over a distance. So, I can also look at these and tell you where work was done. I know that here, 110 newtons of force was used to move a box 5 meters, so that's work. I can tell you here they lifted, here they pushed, excuse me, they lifted a 400 newton box and they lifted it up 1.5 meters high, so here's, here's the force, and they lifted and it went in this direction over a distance, so that's work. Here we're holding something. If we're holding something and it's not moving in the direction that the force is applied, it is no work. So this is no work. He's just holding it. He's, he's not applying a force and moving it over a distance. So that's not work. All right, it says, which statement best describes the amount of work performed for the three activities? So we want to know how much work was being done here. We already eliminated three. There's none. So activity two required the most work. Well, in order to know who required the most work, I need to calculate the work. So let's look at our formula chart. And our formula chart tells us that work is equal to force times distance, or work is equal to a force being applied, right, push or pull, over the distance that the object is moving. So let's see. So for number one, I have five meters of force for 110, or excuse me, 110 newtons of force over a distance of five meters. So I'm going to multiply those and I get 550 newtons. Okay, 550 newtons for one. Number two, I have 490 newtons of force being used and the object's being moved at 1.5 meters up. So I'm just going to go ahead and calculate that out. So that would be 735. I'm bring down my decimal. This is 735 newtons of force, and here we have no work, so that's out. Okay, so activity two required the most work. Well, as far as I can tell right now, that could be true. That's a true statement. Activity three required more work than activity one. Activity three required no work, so that's out. Uh, activity one was the only activity that required work. That's not true either, one and two. Activity 1 required the same amount of work as Activity 3. Activity 3 is not. So our answer is going to be A. Number 2 required the most work because when we calculated it out, we saw that to be true.